Hi everybody, Daniel's Entertainment here, Daniel Z Baker. Um, I just want to take this time to let everybody know that coming soon, Daniel's Entertainment is going to start doing the videos again on YouTube. Um, I know I've got a lot of subscribers on the YouTube uh, Daniel's Entertainment channel. And um, i got a lot of likes. And followers on my Daniels Entertainment Facebook page, and um, I got a lot of people that bookmarks the Daniels Entertainment website, DanielsEntertainment.com. And I know some of y'all like to w enjoy watching the videos. Um, when you come to the shows, you like to get recorded and you like to watch yourself on the videos and, and see your friends and stuff. But um, this is water, by the way, not coffee. But I know y'all probably thought it was coffee. But um, I know I've been uh, getting behind on the videos here lately. I haven't done many videos. I've been so busy, and uh, I ain't really had time to record them, really. Um, but it's been so crazy. I was, and I'm kind of taking a break um, on doing the videos. Because um, I was going crazy with it for a while. But I will do some more videos coming soon. I haven't recorded Hobson Hayes in downtown Somerville yet. I haven't recorded um, Fiesta Mexican Restaurant in Dalton. Georgia, I haven't recorded it yet, and I got a new show coming up, Conductors, in Dalton, Georgia, downtown, um, you know, I need to record it, I haven't recorded it either, um, well, I haven't even been there yet, but I'm coming soon, uh, this Tuesday, November the 29th, I'll be doing the show over there, anyways, um, I know that um, I haven't been doing videos in a while, somebody's been asking me. When you'll come out with new videos because I like to watch them, you know. Um, I got a lot of videos on there. But I am going to have them coming soon. I'm going to figure something out real quick and uh, think about what am I going to do on the videos. Excuse me. Think about how am I going to do it. And uh, I just want to touch on something um, that... I need to get off my chest, I guess, you know. You know, some of you, I'm not saying all of you, but some of you that come to the shows, um, you don't realize it, but, and not just my show, you might be going to a different DJ show. You know, you might not realize it, but for those of you that keeps coming up to the DJ or the KJ, every 10 minutes, all night long for five hours straight, um, I'm not trying to be mean when I say this, but you get on our nerves. You know, we tell you a hundred times, and some of you are sober. That's what gets me. And if you're drunk, it's understandable sometimes, but when you're sober, it, it, I don't understand why y'all keep on when you keep saying, you know, when are you going to play some dance music? Um, I don't mind playing dance music. Don't get me wrong. I'm a DJ, but I'm a KJ as well. You know, some of these DJs, they just do music, that's it. They just play music, or they spin, whatever. Or laptop, whatever the case may be. But I'm a DJ and I'm a KJ. KJ's a karaoke jockey. And basically, you know, a lot of people don't know what a karaoke jockey is. A karaoke jockey basically just hosts the show, karaoke host. And if nobody sings, they sing a few songs. Um, try to get the people into it, you know. Say, you know, when you start singing, some people might be like, well, I might try it. So then they get up there and sing. You got to make announcements for the bar. You talk. And you um, keep the karaoke music going. That's what you do. Now, when you do a straight DJ show, I do that too. I keep the music playing. Um, all the club stuff you hear at the clubs or on the radio, that's what I play. Um, but, you know, I've had, a tip, I have, I've had to tell a few people at the show's would you please quit asking that question? It gets nerve wracking. You know, sometimes when it's packed out, you know, if it's a, you know, sometimes, you know, every once in a while somebody has a dead crowd. If you got a dead crowd, um, then, you know, whatever. I can pretty much play all your requests that you want. But when it's packed out and you've got a lot of karaoke singers and, um, you know, stuff like that, you know, when it's packed house, it's hard. It's, it's hard. You got to remember. It's packed out. Let's just say there's 50 people in there. Some places, some venues you do, there's 100 people or 150 people. It just depends on what venue you're doing, how big it is. But um, 
you're just one person. You're one DJ or one KJ. In my case, I'm both. So, you know, it's hard to keep keep up with everybody. It's hard. And if I forget to play your request sometimes, don't take it personal. Uh, I don't do it on purpose. I try my best to play every one that I can. I appreciate everybody comes to my show. Because without you, there ain't no show. And I appreciate it. And what y'all people don't understand, some of you don't. Um, I don't mind playing the dance music. I can understand. Straight up karaoke all night. You know, you want something different. You like, you know, play music, take a break from karaoke. I understand that. But you got to understand this. There's a lot of people that likes to sing. They they like to drink and sing, and they like to come enjoy their stuff. And I know some of you people like to come and dance, and I understand that. But what gets me, you know, some shows I do, um, but there's one show I do, it's 50-50. The crowd's 50 split. It's a dance crowd and a singing crowd, karaoke crowd. But um, I'll do like karaoke for maybe 40 minutes. And then I'll take a break from the karaoke and I'll do maybe 25 minutes nonstop dance music, sometimes 30 minutes. And then some of you people don't even, you know, when I'm taking a break from the karaoke and playing nothing but dance music, you never say one word during the whole time I'm doing it until I announce, well, we're going back to the karaoke now. We're going to go back to the karaoke. If you have any more requests, I'll play them later. Y'all come up there when I announce we're going back to karaoke. You'll be like, oh, no, I don't want to go back to karaoke. Play this song. Play that song. Sorry, don't work that way. You know, um, and I'm not trying to be mean when I say that. Anybody knows me personally knows I'm a nice guy. Um, unless you just keep pushing my buttons and I'll tell you like it is. I just don't care. I'm that kind of person. Don't have two faces. I got one face. I'm the real deal, you know. Um, don't have time to be fake. Don't have time to tell no lies, no BS. I'm not that kind of person. Anybody knows me, I'm knows knows I'm not that way. And I hate being mean sometimes. Some some of you just keep on, keep on. I try to tell you in a nice way. You just keep on. And um like I said, I'm not trying to be mean. But when you come up to somebody, when you start a show at nine PM and you go all the way to two AM that's five freaking hours. Um, and it's hard. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, it's hard. Anybody that does the kind of business that I do, DJ or KJ, I'll tell you the same thing. When it's a packed house and it's really booming, and you have a lot of people that want to do karaoke and you got a lot of people want to dance. It's hard. It's hard. To, and you'll never please everybody. That's just how it's going to be. You ain't never going to please everybody. That's just how life is. It's just like the election. If Clinton gets it, people's not happy. If Trump gets it, people's not happy. Either way you do it, no matter how you slice it or dice it, somebody's always ticked off or whatever. It's just how it is. But you can't please everybody. And, But some of you I don't understand. You say you hate karaoke. And all, you come in there, and some of you don't have no respect for the karaoke singers. You have no respect for them. They want to sing, they're drinking, they're spending money. And most of you that want to dance all the time, I notice y'all don't spend money for the bar unless, you know, somebody buys you a drink. I've noticed that. And I know some karaoke singers do spend money. You know, so, I mean, I don't understand you. If, if it says karaoke on the, on the wall, karaoke night, if you hate karaoke, then why do you go? That's what I don't understand. I don't like metal music. You know, if somebody likes metal, hardcore metal, that's your business. You know, I'm not knocking you for it. If that's what you like, is what you like. I like country music, and I like boxing. Some people probably don't like those two things. I do. I enjoy it. You know, I enjoy it. Um, you know, but if you don't like boxing or country music, don't listen to it and don't watch it. It's just like karaoke. If you don't like it, don't come. Why come and fuss? Tell me about it all night long. And then it gets on my nerves when some people say, when are you going to play something good? I mean, really? How am I going to play something good? They're, Carol Singers are the ones that picks out the songs. I don't tell them what to sing. They are the ones that picks. They have the right to pick and choose what they want to sing. Don't matter if it's metal, rock, country, gospel, bluegrass, pop, blues. It don't matter. You know, they have the right to pick and choose what they want to sing. And I have no control over that. If they want to sing it and I got it, then they can sing it, you know. 
Um, but again, I don't mind. I do not mind taking breaks. You know, you see me do it all the time. I don't mind taking a break from karaoke and just play 30 minutes, 25 minutes of dance music. I, I do it all the time. You know, I don't mind doing that. But what gets me, I'll just keep on. Y'all are never happy. The, for those of you, you know who I'm talking about. And I'm not trying to be mean when I say this. Um, I'm not trying to be mean at all. But for those of you that do know what I'm talking about, I'm not saying all of you, some of you. Um, you have no respect. You just keep on. You keep on. And then... When I do play dance music, some of you say, well, you're not playing no good songs. Really? They're in the top 10. Really? They're in the top 10. They're popular hip-hop songs. So how can you say they're not good? And when you go to the clubs in Atlanta, that's what they're playing. So how can you say that's not good music? So, I mean, um, I don't know. 